Hey guys. I'm telling you, there's so much food back there. So good. Anyhow, hmm, joke, got it. Ah, here we go, here's a good one. All right. Why did the rubber chicken cross the road? Thank you for answering. To get to the rubber side. <laughs> that's a good one, that's my favorite one of the three I have so far. Anyhow, the next person we have coming on, I'm very excited for. Lawrence, or not Lawrence, Emerson Corum. Um, Emerson himself is an ace telephone caller. Like, on his phone, he's so good. He's, and he's so good at karate. And he just told me the other day, he's like, Charlie, I want to do comedy. I'm going to stand up on Friday. And I was like, dude, do it. So he's come back for the second time. So everyone, please, let's get it. for Lawrence who's in his comedy V card. Good job, Lawrence. Um, oh my god, he's wearing a sp he's wearing a sport coat. What a douche. <laughs> um, actually, uh, this is a great turnout. You guys are great for coming. That's great. Um, I'm actually I'm actually really surprised that y'all came tonight. Um, as, I was, as I was leaving my house, I saw that there was a Jersey Shore marathon on tonight. Yeah, give it up, give it up. Um, yeah. um, are there, hey, seriously, any Jersey Shore fans out there? Bunch. Um, uh, if you love Jersey Shore, then you are just gonna love Spray Tan the movie. Um, <laughs> Okay, so, yeah, my last girlfriend, she wasn't from New Jersey. I never asked, I just knew, um, because she was quiet. Um, anyways, um, uh, I, I can never tell when Jersey Shore is on anymore because um, there's so many shows with obnoxious tan people on them. Um, we got Jersey Couture about... Um, uh, Guidos and Guidettes in the fashion world. We got um, the Real Housewives of New Jersey, which is just trash. Um, <laughs> we have Jersey Licious, and I don't even want to know what that's about. Okay, so here's the thing. I saw this new show on TLC, and it's called Cake Boss. <laughs> Cake Boss. And they were trying to describe it, and I, I didn't pick up on the describing. Um, it's, it, I think it was because they, they said um, it's Jersey Shore, the television show Jersey Shore, with food. And I was confused because I thought they already had that. Uh, I was like, have you guys seen Snooki lately? <laughs> um, Danny Inman, a little harsh, I'm sorry. Anyways, um, so I have Alzheimer's, that sucks. Um, <laughs> That sucks because I bought an undercover police car uh, as my first car. So every time I walk outside, I just come out my door and I'm just like, oh, oh my God. <laughs> Pablo, the cops are here. Hide the stash. <laughs> Who's Pablo? And, um, <laughs> moving on to the economy from that joke. Um, it's a rough transition. Um, so <laughs> we have way too many wasted jobs in our country. I think that's the other poison in our country, Carl. Where's Carl uh, and me were talking about the poisons of the country other than, um, I mean, this is just an opinion. I don't reflect the, the school at all, but I believe that one of the poisons in the country other than jobs is the Obama administration. You do. Um, but, so here's what I'm saying. We cut down on wasted jobs by combining jobs instead of uh, instead of taking the jobs and having their own fields. Like, for instance, we would put uh, doctors at the airport. 
Um, because as you're going through baggage, you're already getting a prostate exam. <laughs> all I'm saying, all I'm saying is just print the results. Um, you. Um, uh, you guys are a good crowd. You're, I mean, from what I've seen, you're a good crowd. You're not the best, you're pretty good. Um, I think I, I, I yeah. yeah. Um, we're, it doesn't like, it doesn't really matter if, if you laugh or not, we don't really care. Um, because me and Tucker and Carl and uh, LP later tonight, we're gonna get in a room and we're just gonna, uh, we're just gonna record over all your laughing. So, la so la laughing, laughing. So, if you can just kill the audience, that'd be great. Um, <laughs> doctors at the airport. <laughs> Get a load of this guy. Um, so, something's been uh, hanging over my head recently. It's, I, I don't know, I was, it was on FX the other day. I don't know if anybody saw The Last Samurai. The Last Samurai was about Tom Cruise, who... Um, I didn't really follow it, but he, I couldn't because it was Tom Cruise as a samurai, just, uh, and so, um, why was Tom Cruise the last samurai? It's like, if you love Tom Cruise as the last samurai, you're going to love Zac Efron as the last of the Mohicans. <laughs> so, uh, uh, so give it up for my outfit tonight. Yeah. Um, I was at Abercrombie before the show. If that's not a joke in itself, uh, I don't know what is. But um, I walked in and I was like, um, do you have anything that highlights that I'm a tool? <laughs> and the guy was just like, take your pick, sir. Like, <laughs> Next page. Okay. Has anyone here besides myself gotten trapped in a revolving door? <laughs> I was at Macy's the other day just trying to buy some overpriced jeans and I was just walking through. I'm like, oh. oh. And I was like this for just a while. Luckily, I had my phone. Uh, I, I called the cops. I'm like, and they're like, 911, what's your emergency? I'm like, what? I'm stuck. Hey, the door has got me. The door has got me. And then uh, a manager, oh my God, dizzy. The manager came up and he's like, calm down. It happens all the time. What cha? Put his arm in the door, stopped it. And, he's, and all, he just went out with his day. He's like, enjoy your shopping experience. I was shocked. Because that was the best sales pitch ever. <laughs> How are we going to sell this overpriced clothing? Well, we could cut the prices or we could trap them in the door. <laughs> mission, mission accomplished either way. Um, changing views. People think that having a kangaroo as a pet would be fun. It's not, guys. It's not. It's. You can't fit in the pouch, okay? <laughs> Believe me, I've tried. I'm not a marsupial. Um, plus, they crap all, all over the house. Indoor kangaroo. What a ridiculous concept. Anyways, my mom. Yeah, buddy. <sighs> my mom was going to the store the other day, and she's like, what do you want? You uh, all you do is complain about our food. What, what is it that I can possibly get you that will satisfy you? Um, I decide I'm gonna impress her. I'm gonna, for once in my life, my mom is gonna be impressed with me. Uh, I said, fruit roll-ups and Hot Pockets. That might have been an absent judgment. So, but the thing is that it didn't matter what I said. Either way, she was coming home with vegetarian Hot Pockets. Or no, hamburger helper. Wait, let me take that again. Either way, she, was coming home with vegetarian hamburger helper. <laughs> um, so, uh, I, right when she came through the door, I looked at her and I'm like, what is this? Um, <laughs> uh, 
Um, she came in and I said, Mom, I hope you bought toilet paper too because it says right here, eat near the bathroom. Um, that's disgusting. Okay. Um, uh, so my blind friend had a birthday party the other day and I got him a coloring book. Uh, um, no laughs for that. Nobody got it. Um, so I got him a coloring book. He's blind. He doesn't see the colors. He doesn't see it. But point is, uh, he regifted, so I didn't feel bad. Um, if you love Emerson Coram and his offensive comedy, you are going to love Charlie Sheen, the radio show. If you loved Taylor Swift's new album, then you are just going to love Megadeth. That linkage is just the worst. Anyways, um, people, people here, anybody here experience deja vu? Yeah! Emerson's putting on a crappy comedy show again. Deja vu. And, <laughs> um, but so, I get deja vu. I get deja vu all the time. Um, everybody who gets deja vu, they, they announce it to like everyone. They, uh, they're like, oh my god, deja vu. Like, um, right when they re realize that it's already happened or whatever deja vu is. Um, but so they, just, they, they realize it. And uh, deja vu is something special to me. I hold it near, very near and dear in my heart. Because it happens to me every day. Um, it's right at the moment that my teacher comes up and says, Emerson, do you have your homework? And I say, oh my god, I didn't do it again. Deja vu. Uh, 